Hi, I'm Margie from Marjorie's Candies. And what I have here on this plate that I just showed you a picture of at the beginning of the video are some chestnuts that I've already roasted. And this is what they look like. And there's a lot of things that you can do with them, but one of the most popular things to do is to chop them up and put them in your stuffing. I actually like them just plain. And once a year, I like to just make them just for fun. So I'm going to show you how I do that. What I've been doing here is I've been preparing the nuts, the chestnuts, for the toaster oven. And what I've done is actually, when you get them at the store, you want to you want to take a look at them and make sure that the bottoms of them are um, are nice. And this one here is really nice. It's firm and it's it looks nice and clean on the bottom. But this one here is not. This one was kind of soft, so you want to be careful. I got one that wasn't very good. So you can feel that. Okay, so if you get ones that are nice and round and they have a nice bottom and they're firm, what you want to do is you want to wash them before you... I've, been, I've washed all these down here on the, ta on the table. And as you see, my, my rag is pretty dirty. Okay, I'll show you how much dirt. Depends, I guess, where you buy them from, but this, these just came from the grocery store. But if you rub it, and rub the bottom because you're going to be putting a, um, a cut in it. I don't know if you can see all that dirt that comes off. So I've done all of them, but about three of them. So I'll just show you how really... And it won't matter that they're wet because they'll, they'll dry off as soon as you put them in the oven. Okay, look at that. Look at all that that comes off. And since you're going to be cutting the bottoms with a knife, you don't want to get that dirt into the nut. Okay, so now what I do is I take a nut and I'm going to put it down on the table. And I'm going to cut, always cut away from you when you put the knife in. Put it, whoop, <laughs> put it in and push down, okay, and, and go all the way down to the bottom. Now you're, you're cutting the bottom part of the nut, not the point, but the bottom part. And you want to make one cut down and you make an, you're going to make an X, pretty much. Always put the knife in and go away from you. Okay, and you just make a little X in the bottom of it. And I'll just do these other three. Always away from you. No children should be doing this. <laughs> okay, the little X. Like I said, I've done all the other ones. Always away. Okay, so that's all, and I'm going to get these ready for the oven. I'm using my toaster oven, and I preheated it to about 425, and I put it on the timer, so they're going to cook for about 25 minutes, or about 25 minutes. And um, I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, my oven is all ready to toast the chestnuts. And all I'm going to do, without burning myself here, is I'm going to place them anywhere on the, the rack. I'll leave them in for, I'm going to put it on for 25 minutes. And then I'll be back and I'll show you what they look like. So if you look at these really closely, you can see that they've opened up pretty nicely. And they're cooled off enough I can show you. See how that opens up. Pulls away. The shell just pulls away. Okay. You might have to play with it a little bit. But mostly, the nuts will just come out. And, um... You can chop them up and use them in stuffing. Do a lot of things with them. So they're a lot of fun. I hope you have fun trying this at home. And um, see if I can bend down and say hi to you. <laughs> Hello. And I'm Margie from Marjorie's Candies. And there's your chestnuts. <laughs>